Hello everyone. This is your Prashant. Welcome to Python Automation Selenium series. Today we are going to see the how to handle the web tables and calendar. So both are similarly same fashion. So basically in all the places like uh, like uh, registering for date of birth, booking for a date. So everywhere is kind of web table only. So in the, if you see this red bus, this is the red bus app. So when you click on the date icon, so we cannot type a date here. So only through the calendar, we can able to select the dates. Okay. So first of all, what I want to do, I want to click on the date field. After that date field, this calendar icon populate. Okay. After that, I want to click on this table. Okay. So when I right click and inspect, inspect on this page. So basically this kind of things we call as a table. Okay. If you see this, the table tag. In the table tag, there is a table body. Okay. T body we call it as a table body. And what is TR? TR is called rows, table row. Okay. Inside every TR, there is a TD, table data. We call it as a column. So row column. Okay. TD is kind of a column, table data. And TR is a table row. See here, when I inspecting on each TR, it's moving to the each row. Okay. Okay. So in this TR, I, if I want to click on 10 means I need to go to this TD and I want to click on 10. Okay. So this, this kind of web table things or calendar things, how we will handle in a, our cell name. So that's only we're going to see today. Basically, I done all the basic setups. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to the redbus.in website and this is date I want to select. Okay. The 20th. So I want to select the 20th. So this is how the user will give input. First of all, you want to know the basic string concept. Like uh, uh, if there is a like, giving a date, so I want to only the date 20. So how do I divide from the string? So for this, we are going to create a dates. So what we need to do, we need to use a split method. Using a split method. So what we'll do? So I'm splitting through the iPhone. So what will happen? Uh, using the iPhone, 20 will divide independently, Feb will divide independently and 2023. Okay, this so. So I'm giving like December 2022. Okay, so I'm selecting a 20. So this is a form of list. Okay, so in this list, this is the zeros index, this is the first index, and this is the third index, like second index, 0, 1, 2. Okay, so first of all, what is the first priority? I want to click on this date icon. Okay, so first of all, I'm inspecting the date icon. So if you find a date icon, see this, it has an ID. Okay, I'm copying this ID. I'm typing driver dot find element by dot xpath and so it's not xpath. Today we're copying the ID. So I'm giving the ID value and I want to click. So if I click right now, what will happen? The date field will open. Okay, so in this date field, so I'm inspecting 15. So first of all, we want to read all that because sometimes they give someone give 20. Sometimes I want to click on five. So I can hard code it here. I want to give some random text. Okay. So for this, where is my data is there in, in TD. Okay. I'm going to write X path. So if we see the table, this table is under this div. So this div have a ID. So what I'm going to give double slash div tag at ID equal to what? This is my. I, I take at the data. Okay. In this data, what I want to do, I want to know all the TDs because in TDs only what is there? The date is coming in the TD tag. So this is one of 45. That means 45 TDs under this div. So this kind of things I'm already taught you. Find element and find elements. So this is what? Find elements. I'm calling like TD equal to driver dot. See here we want to select a find elements concept not element here i'm using a find element here is find element it means more than one element okay y dot x path in the x path i'm pasting this x path okay so this has 45 so i will show you what are things it stored so i'm going to create a for so for this is one element in this element simply in in the td okay I'm going to print all the elements. So ELE dot which method to, to read a text? We need to say text method because after going to the TD method, I want to read the text like 12, 13, 14. See this? I'm going to read all the TDs. Okay. So 
so i'm going to run this class so simply i'm going to the website i'm reading the calendar and i'm all the tds so i'm printing all the things okay so i'm launching the browser it's enter the url and it will maximize this window so after this it will click on the date and so it is click the date so when i go here see this it's printed all the data see here all data so what is our condition i want to click on a 20 so to, where is 20 in the dates of zeroth index so what i'm going to give i'm going to if if ely dot text method is getting a data so simply we put equal to what is the data dates of which index and zeroth index dates of so when i am getting a zeroth index is a 20 so when i am getting a 20 so what i want to do ely dot click so it want to click the element after clicking what is the main thing you want to break the loop because why are you breaking this loop when you touching this 50 the automatically the table is disappeared so obviously what we need to do we need to close the our this like like break our for loop okay so it will take each text when i'm comparing equal t to the zero yeah, why it's zero because i want to click on 20th so 20th is a zero index it is a list concept i'm using so i'm running here so this time what is our motto when it's a 20th date is coming it need to click that icon 20th icon then date will automatically select it okay see this browser is launched it's click it will click on uh, 15 see this 20 is selected the things so this is how we need to click on the web tables so first of all you want to understand the concept like what is td td and what is tr and what is td okay so these are the basic things of web table okay so if you faced any issues please put me on the comment i will help you over there okay so in the next uh, if you like this video please subscribe and share to your friends we will meet on our next concept in next video we are going to start a pie test okay so from next video thanks for joining in